Let's hear from Garrett. Garrett, you were dominant for five and then clearly ran into some trouble there in that sixth inning. How do you process this outing? Um, I mean, I try to take the good stuff from it. Um, you know, but in the end, especially right now, it just feels like it wasn't good enough. Um, I thought there was uh, some, some, some really nice pitches tonight, some really nice sequences. But, you know, in the end, I guess when the biggest pitches mattered, we just kind of fizzled out and weren't able to make uh, good enough pitches. Why do you think you fizzled out in that sixth inning? Why did it unravel quickly? I mean, the two walks just probably could have put a little bit more, bit more pressure on both of those hitters. Um, some misses lost us leverage. Um, a couple non-competitive pitches, and then you know, you know, I mean, um, Mon Castle did a good job on the high fastball, getting the barrel to it, uh, staying above the baseball. Um, Ruiz kept the ball fair by a hair down the down the first baseline, and you know, those two pitches maybe should be a different pitch uh, to Mon Castle, um, Ruiz. You know, maybe a little bit more inside or, or go a different direction. Just turned out to be a game of inches, I guess, that, that, that kind of just blew up into a big number, and that's the way it is. Had it not been for that error, you actually would have been out of that inning with just one run. Does that error affect you at all? Um, I mean, it, it, uh, it not, not, an, no, I mean, not enough to, not enough to be able to, I should have stopped the bleeding. I should have picked him up. Thank you, Gary. Next one goes to Eric Boland. Garrett, you're cruising through five innings, 66 pitches going into the sixth. Just how shocking is it to have an inning unravel so quickly like that when you're pitching as well as you were leading into it? Yeah, it's a fickle game. I mean, it can change really quickly. It's a game of inches. You know, a lot of competitive pitches throughout the night strung some non-competitive ones together, and they strung some good swings. Um, good swings together uh, uh, at the right time. Um, so, you know, it's why we don't take uh, any pitch for granted. Uh, it's why we play one pitch at a time. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago where we had an inning that, that broke in our favor against the Mets. Started with, uh, started with you know, a, a shift beater and then, and then a botched whatever to third base and all of a sudden we scored four and came back and, and ended up winning the game. So uh, we've been on the right side of it. Tonight, tonight we were on the wrong side of it. Thank you, Gert. Should we take the next one from George King? Garrett, would you agree that you just used the term pretty quickly? Um, do you agree that things have to turn around here pretty quickly as a, overall as a team? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to see us. I'd like to see us turn the corner and start going in the right direction. You know, the results don't always, you know, don't always dictate you know, uh, uh, exactly everything that's, that's been going on. Um, uh, but at the same time, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we're just, uh, whether, whether the offense has a good night and the pitchers can't pick it up or whether the pitchers have a good night and the offense doesn't pick it up or whether, you know, we, we, we play well, we pitch well, we hit well, we don't play good defense. It's just like all, all the things just, you know, just aren't clicking for us. So, um, you know, by and large, we, we, we need to get, we need to get all three areas of, of the game kind of going in the right direction. If, if we don't rattle off five, six, seven wins in a row, you know, that's fine, but, but we got to see improvement across the board. Um, we got to start picking each other up. So, uh, 